Welcome to reading. Today we're going to read another story about hide and seek. Uh, this story is just called Hide and Seek. So while we're reading our story today, we're going to work on making some text-to-self connections. The question I'm going to ask over and over again today is, where would you hide? So think about where you would hide while we're reading. Let's read um, our description first. It's time to play hide and seek in the playground. Find somewhere to hide before the count hits 10. Where is the best place to hide? Or where would you hide? Hide and seek. This is written by Carolyn Kislowski and it's illustrated by Nina de Polonia. Here are some words we might see a lot while we're reading today. Count. Flowers, hide, hide and seek, jungle gym, slide, and swing. Okay, so this is the monkey talking first. I'm going to do a monkey voice. Let's play hide and seek. You count to ten. I will hide. Where can I hide? The monkey has to hide for a game of hide and seek. Where would you hide? Behind the slide? Behind the sling set? Maybe behind a bush? Or behind the grass? Or behind the jungle gym? What do you think? That sounds like a great place to hide. Hmm, jungle gym? One, two, Oh, no, he will see me. Swing. Three, four. No, he will see me. Oh, man, the monkey's having a hard time finding a hiding spot. Where would you hide? Maybe behind the swing set or under some grass? What do you think? That's a cool hiding spot. Let's keep going. Slide. Five. Six. <sighs> no. He will see me. Where would you hide in this picture? Oh, I know. I can hide here. Seven. Eight. That's bear counting. He will not see me. Here's Bear's voice. Nine, ten, here I come. Where would you hide in this picture? Behind the tree, behind the bush, like monkey, or somewhere else? Where are you? Hmm. Aha, there you are. And the flowers. I can see your ribbon. The end. If you'd like to explore some of these other activities with your mom or dad, go for it. Thank you so much for reading Hide and Seek with me.